All right, peeps, you can tell from the squinting. And the scenery is revealed. We are at the dunes. This is the baby dunes. I think I'm only up to baby dune status. I had a real rough week with my spine. Uh, after last week getting into a bit of a scruffle. Uh, well, I guess with a BLM activist and... Uh, a man transitioning to a woman, perhaps, uh, I guess, politically way, correct way of saying it. Uh, you know, some people want to say I beat down a tranny, I beat down a BLM tranny. That wouldn't be correct. Uh, it didn't happen like that at all. Uh, but it does sound funny, and it does make for a good sound bite. Maybe I'll use that as the uh, title headline for this one. Oh, it's been a while since we've been here at the dunes and uh, coming back a little older, a little wiser, even though I still have the worst production value in uh, cinema. Basically forgot the selfie stick, but uh, it's all good. <laughs> We're muddling through here <laughs> with high technology phones. So I was watching some Ralph Smart. I've watched a lot of Ralph Smart lately. It's good to get the positivity and the take that and all that. Now he's out in Greece, and everyone's in the comments like, you know, how'd you get there? And then he, he made a video today saying, well, because they were like, you know, did you wear a mask? Did you get a jab? He's like, I didn't get a jab. He said that several times. And then he was talking in code about how he doesn't stop when they say stop and go when they say go, and he does what he wants to do, makes his own reality. And so he was being kind of shady. I don't think he wanted to reveal maybe... Uh, you know, if he's flying private, if he's got that much cash, God bless him. Uh, that is a secret, right? The uh, elite, the rich, you know, maybe not the super rich, but uh, if you can afford to fly private, you're doing pretty good. And, uh, yeah, I understand in that world there's no masky mascos. And so that's good for me, uh, although I haven't really looked into it. I don't know how much it would cost me to fly down to Mexico. Uh, it'd be nice to do that, and it would be nice to check it out. I like it hot. Today we got some heat, finally, some sunshine. I like to bronze up the skin and uh, get healthy. A little hiking. It's good to enjoy the beach. I spend all this money on high rent to live close to the beach, but I don't get to the beach very often because it's not hot and sunny it's 65 55 65 fahrenheit and cloudy not what we call beach weather all right so finally a little taste of summer and uh, let's get to get out hiking but i was pretty much bedridden all week and then on thursday i was forced to be seated for 12 hours in front of a camera well, not really to be seated. I did squeeze in some yoga, and uh, I got some flack for it, but I had to do my continuing education, and so now we had to do Zoom classes online. I did not appreciate that uh, experience as much as the live one, for sure. I'll just leave that there, I guess. Um, I kind of wanted to rag on Ralph Smart a little bit, but uh, and he's in Greece doing his thing. And I, I guess what I'm thinking is he didn't fly private. He probably wore a mask. Maybe he didn't. Some people are sneaky and get away with it. Sometimes they let you go without it, perhaps. You know, he might have just got lucky like that. He's got that kind of luck and karma. But I think, you know, who knows? One guy told me a story. He laid low. On a flight from Colorado to California, was able to do the whole deal without a mask. So he had like a baseball hat and a hoodie. So yeah, I mean, there's ways definitely around things, and I suspect uh, either Ralph Smart did something like that, and then maybe he got tested. He didn't say he didn't get tested, so he might have been like, "Screw it, I'm going to get tested. I'm going to go to Greece." And, uh, you know, we all sell our soul, right? 
I did that video about selling out and uh, we all have our levels and so to him maybe he realizes he sold his soul a little but he had a lot left to sell and he might as well live a little you know we all whatever have our demons and our shadows and uh, our dark side and deals with the devil where we sell parts of our soul right maybe we don't sell off the whole thing but hey you know, if you die with 99% soul intact, maybe you're still pretty good. Uh, you still can receive nirvana, or at least 99% of nirvana, if that makes sense. Probably doesn't. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I guess you shouldn't sell any of your soul, the moral of that story. Never compromise your beliefs, uh, your deep core, right, what you true believe to be true deep down. Uh, if you believe in God or whatever, the universe directing you, um, and you go against that, you will suffer to some degree going against yourself. Don't fight with yourself. Stop hitting yourself. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I can't get off the Ralph Smart tip. I mean, I guess I'm just jealous that he's in Greece. But look at this beautiful surrounding that I'm in. Pretty fantastic. Uh, you know, I feel like I want to... Uh, trash him feel better about myself to elevate myself just looking for a fancier way to say it I could have had a more eloquent, eloquent uh, addiction for sure I think I'm losing blood to my head as it goes down to my legs getting up to the hill here and the lungs dogs on a leash no alcoholic beverages. These are the rules. All right, people. Signs, signs everywhere. Signs. Blocking up the scenery. And messing with my mind. Do this, don't do that. I can't read the signs. And then you get a little graffiti on the sign. That's the cool part. Rebellion. Uh, yeah. Whew. In New York, you get a lot of graffiti. Kilroy, shout out to Kilroy, a history of graffiti. All right, we're getting some elevation now. We can see some peaks. I think that might be, no, that's not Jack's Peak. That's like coming around. These are like nothing, these peaks. I mean, they're, they're pretty good, but there's no trails even going up them hiking trails. It's not like hiking Mecca fun. Maybe, maybe that one over there. That one looks pretty big. I mean, there's definitely some good hiking within an hour's drive of here and even closer, I'm sure. We did the Jack's Peak thing last week. That was pretty good. Uh, but once you do it a couple times, you realize that it's not really a big park. It's a tiny little park. And so whatever, we're local. We're feeling the local vibe, right? So with that... Um, you know, where you put energy, things will grow, right? So, things are growing, <laughs> as they should. Although, the grand solar minimum. Uh, so, young kitties, no mass, that's good. But they didn't even make eye contact or try to, and didn't reply when I said, Hi, whoa, give me a brother and sister vibe. But yeah, so I've been putting my energy local, and so it's paying off. Local things are growing. Uh, in spite of the grand solar minimum, wow, we're getting wind now coming up through the pass. So it's probably going to destroy this video. You're going to hate watching it. Me talking over the wind. Maybe it'll die down as it picks up. As it picks up, next thing I'm going to have to wrap. So maybe we'll just wrap it here. Pick it up later, maybe on the beach. Uh, or I could keep going if the wind dies down a little. It might be just hitting the top of this peak coming up through this canyon. Amazing colors. Look at the rainbow on the succulents. Those are all succulents. You can see right here up close. I think you can see. But yeah, and not so much on this side. It's looking a little sparse. Uh, lush but over here unbelievable palette I mean it looks I don't know if you can really capture it on the screen if it does it justice the colors are 
just unbelievable technicolor reality. It's psychedelic, man. It's psychedelic, man. Yeah, nature, baby. Like Ralph Smart says, nature. And there's the ocean, Pacifica. I'm stoked we're getting this perfect little Sunday. I didn't have to drive, no effort, no stress, day, slept in. The hours are ripping by today. And, uh, yeah, so we're feeling more local. I fed, I got the bird feeder going. Uh, I've been shopping around a little bit over the last month or so and eating out more. So I'm kind of getting a level notched down on the PTSD and uh, trauma-based mind control fear and the anxiety so you know certainly that incident last weekend didn't help but anyway I got a new tomato plant and we packed up the uh, hummingbird feeder Uh, they say white sugar I got some organic cane some water I was gonna put a little red mix in there and then I took it out it got like a little infected I guess with red mix but hopefully they won't hate it or die but you never know little bitches of sensitive people on Facebook were like, nothing else but sugar and water. And so I wanted to give them the distilled water. Uh, I think I gave them some. Yeah, no, I gave them distilled water. They should be happy. Hopefully they'll notice it and start coming around. But, you know what I mean? I'm kind of replanting roots because it looks like we got a home for field of light chiropractic. It's not signed on the dotted line yet, but uh, woo, I met the three owners of the landlord uh the three partners uh so they all seemed really positive i didn't get any initial resistance and so it looks like we're going to get a sublease uh right here in my hometown of marina and so uh marina is expanding we got three cannabis um emporiums dispensaries coming as it is legal in california and it's a popular alternative Uh, to pharma or an adjunct you know when people have medical problems the cannabis can really help but also it's recreational legally so people use that a lot too and you know the cbd products which are not psychoactive right so they don't get you high don't mess with your mind uh they're even in walmart they're everywhere there's a lot of you know detachment from the stigma um you know they've pretty much gone mainstream cbd is pretty much mainstream it's in Walmart. You can get like a rub on cream or whatever, pain, muscle pain. I'm pretty sure Walmart with CBD. And then I'm getting CBD kombucha, fresh brew. Shout out to the Pokey people, Carmel. Uh, you know, it was a little, pretty much the whole year I haven't been there. Now I've been back there a couple of times and uh, it's been pleasant. You know, so I hope we never go back to fucking the point where I can't walk into a retail outlet again. And, uh, you know, I definitely appreciate this world that we have of convenience, you know. Basically, I don't have to cook food for my cat. I don't have to catch it or kill it. Uh, Even for myself, right? It is a luxury to not have to cook. I've been cooking a lot more this year. And when you have to cook, you know, a lot of times it's fast and furious. It's not uh, gourmet out of fun. (laughs) So, well, there's some of that too. But, uh, yeah, so last year been no fun, been a little traumatic. (sighs) Went by very fast. And I'm thinking, you know, when I lost my job, I came straight to the dunes. And so here I am again at the dunes, full circle. Now with much bigger aspirations. And, uh, you know, with the new location obviously there's a lot to do i got to get all my systems and branding in place and elevate the game right and uh potentially not that i can really have partners per se in california but let's just say the landlord uh has a business too and basically i could make a deal to sublease inside of 50 of their locations okay here goes some flyers i don't know if you guys are seeing that but that's what's up you get you a little parachute and you just cruise around and you don't need a passport or any id i don't think i don't know i think actually there is some kind of licensing these guys do it these guys are the instructors i should talk to them 
and get me certified, government bona fide. Although, you know me, the anarchist, kind of against all that, right? Now I need a license to pee. <laughs> right now, actually, we don't need licenses for, like, these electric bikes and scooters and uh, skateboards to a degree. And so that's a pretty cool little loophole, but, you know, I wonder, Knockwood, you know, where they draw the line and uh, where the line moves in the future. So, you know, uh, I guess we can't all just run amok on the highways crashing into each other with no responsibility. Um, but at the same time, we got to kind of minimize the regulations and, uh, I don't know, maybe reform, definitely reform policing. Uh, it's definitely happening, right? Kind of in the news. So I don't know how bad the wind is. I think it's been a little better as we got into the dip. But now we're coming up toward the beach. It's going to be rough, y'all. Just a warning. All right. It's the price you got to pay for living your best life in the Ralph Smart way. <laughs> Feels so good to be alive, baby. <laughs> Can I get a hello? Oh, we haven't even had breakfast yet. That's right. I said it. Ripping off all his shit. Take that, baby. All right, maybe I'll get a, an extra subscriber or two by being a fake-ass Ralph Smart, biting his shit. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if he's really revealing himself now. I mean, I guess uh, we'll see more as it comes on, you know. Like, uh, it's possible he's starting to fly private and has the big bucks. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully he's got it like that. But, yeah, he should definitely share it with us. Us in Slavelandia, us serfs in Slavelandia. <laughs> Gonna share his travel secrets. Because I'd like to be in Greece. I mean, this is definitely fantastic here. But it's cold, windy, choppy. And there's great whites. I think I just saw one breach. Could be a dolphin, baby. I don't know. I haven't been in the water too much here. And we're right by the, the, the sewage treatment plant. So... It's not always the cleanest right here, but it doesn't smell and it doesn't look too bad. It should be pretty good, actually. I think there's times of the month it probably gets worse. Or when it rains or who knows the factors. I see a rip current right here, though. Some kids playing, people getting sun. Beautiful day. All right, too much sun and I've ranted already 18 minutes. So whatever, people, I'm trying to just keep in touch with y'all you're enjoying your life and your freedom you know i'm out here fighting for you right i'm taking pepper spray to the face i'm uh, getting tackled by six foot four caitlin jenner evil twin uh black lives matter <laughs> yeah so yeah that's the price you gotta pay if you want to play some uh bob marley in the streets these days right bob marley paid with his life so who am i to think that uh you know, a little pepper spray is a big deal. Not a big deal. All right, so go out and get yourself pepper sprayed. Oh, that's probably some bad medical advice. Yeah, they'll take me down for medical misinfo. But it seems everyone's talking about the vaxes now. You can say all kinds of shit like vax or whatever and not get taken down necessarily. Um, I mean, I don't know. I, maybe if I said something like Pfizer sucks, then I get taken down. But, you know... I won't take that chance and say anything like that. You know what I mean? Uh, I have to say things like, we love Pfizer and, you know, all vaxxers are safe and effective. <laughs> and then we can stay up here on YouTube <laughs> and continue to mock them with their own device. Uh, or maybe they're laughing at us because I'm distracted by the digital world instead of uh, enjoying the analog one in front of me. All right, so we're going to see... If we see any sea life, uh, on a monopia much, I don't know. Anyway, people, alliteration, <laughs> English language constructs, yeah. So it's a Sunday and there's not a whole lot of people here. I see 
two, three, four adults, maybe half mile down, a quarter mile down. We'll see uh, the flyers are all up there. And the hawk showing them how it's done. And you guys can see that. It's pointing kind of randomly in that direction. I think you're getting it. Yeah. Hopefully I'll be getting some video from the air sometime soon. And uh, yeah, it looks like we're going to get this practice going right here in Marina. So come on down, people. Get your flights. All right, while well, you can still fly, book yourself a flight. We'll do some immersion therapy treatments. Um, you know, we'll get you x-rayed, get you a real report of findings. Uh, try not to rip you off too bad, you know, like you won't have to second mortgage your house. I mean, maybe, maybe, a, you know, a little, a little second or a little third mortgage, but like not, you know, not taking a limb. All right, maybe a limb, but you know what I'm saying? Like, uh... We don't want to bleach it too bad. We just want to suck some adrenochrome out. Just enough to get an adrenochrome high. <laughs> but seriously, you can get some hotels here in Marina uh, and Monterey. And this whole area is pretty cheap. And, uh, you know, it's definitely a vacation hotspot. I've seen a lot of people when I shadow Dr. John Bergman. A lot of people flying in from around the states to get treated with immersion therapy and so it was a real eye-opener for me and uh, you know I'm always looking to take my treatment to the next level you know if you're ready to go there I'm ready to take you there so get your butt out here and walk on the beach all right that'll be my homework project uh, you know if you're not <laughs> too, too beaten up from the immersion therapy Right, or the immersion, uh, chiropractic immersion treatment program. Basically, Bergman's got people coming in three times a day, but you're talking about severe chronic illnesses and uh, severe problems. So, you know, if you're severe, you might need real intense treatment to make any progress. And so, you know, we're about progress. Of course, we want to stop things from getting worse if possible. Sometimes that's the only option, but, uh, you know, if you want to push it higher and make progress, maybe where you thought none could be made, uh, perhaps we can push forward, right? Perhaps you can transform yourself into a healthier person, become a different person. Um, but, you know, you want big changes, you're going to have to make big changes. Oh, slow motion this side, Ralph Smart. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Whenever he says something kind of profound. He always does that. <laughs> All right, people, let's just end it there. I hope all is going uh, well for you. If you're in a spiral of uh, pain and despair, um, you know, maybe you can't think straight. And so the first thing you want to do in your zombified state is take care of your health, all right? So I'm trying to practice what I preach. This week I was pretty bad, and as soon as I could get out of bed, um, I went and saw my chiropractor. So that was yesterday, and I'm feeling a lot better for sure. All right, so, you know, I take care of myself. I try to take care of myself. Most people that I see uh, are taking care of others, and they just are willing to martyr themselves and sacrifice themselves. So, you know, you don't have to. You, you're going to... Save yourself first, and then you can help 10 people, 100 people. You know what I mean? If you put the oxygen mask on while the plane is going down, um, you know, maybe you can take over the cockpit, fly everyone home to safety. But if you pass out, you're not going to do that. You're not going to save anyone. All right? So save yourselves first, people. Put on your oxygen masks. Start with the deep breathing. The Wim Hof breathing, if you don't know, better ask somebody, all right? Uh, Wim Hof breathing, I'm going to mention a lot of other videos. Um, I have a lot of ideas for videos we're going to be doing. Maybe even right now, back to back, I'll just start punching a few out. Um, they're going to be specifically for my patients coming to my office, whether you're in immersion therapy or not. 
It's going to be stuff like what to do after your adjustment, what to do before your adjustment, you know, maybe some nutrition tips, that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, you know, basics, what to expect, you know, I, I threw up after my adjustment, is that normal? Well, we'll get into it, all right? So we'll see you on the next video. Uh, a lot more info to come. Also, I'm going to be repeating some of the things that was taken down on my last channel. I had over 100 videos there. Lots of wisdom, lots of pearls. I don't want to be too repetitive, um, but sometimes a repetitive message is good, right? You need to drive it home. You need to hear it a few times and uh, let it sink in. Whoa, these guys are going to crash. These guys are flying crazy. I should, I should film them if they're going to crash. Oh, they dodged each other. That was some skillful turn. <laughs> he was like, I'll go right, you go left. All right. Lots of drama on the beach, people. We got a guy jogging, so fitness is alive. God has blessed me. I mean, it's a Sunday, August 1st, so I guess the height of summer, and I have a mile of California beach to myself. I mean, pretty much looks like all marina, seaside, like pretty much probably no population till down to like Monterey. Maybe a few people over there in seaside, but uh, yeah, we're blessed here. So come out and visit. Um, they won't tax you too hard for the hotel. And uh, you know, we're gonna have a beautiful space. Looks like we're getting about a thousand square feet. So it won't be too big. Um, but we should be able to treat a decent amount of people. And I'm pretty sure you could always find vacancy in these hotels around this area. So fly your butt out here. Stay for a month, six weeks, two months. Take care of yourself. Get some immersion therapy. All right. Maybe you don't even need such intense chiropractic. Maybe you don't need three times a day. Maybe once a day. Maybe three times a week. Right. Uh, who knows? Maybe you need only once or twice a week. But come out here. We're going to be real thorough. Go over your x-rays with you. Let you know what we can fix, what we can't fix. Uh, tell you the truth and uh, you know give you the latest and greatest if we can't help you you know we'll try to tell you who can and certainly we'll tell you you know help you find someone in your hometown maybe that can help maintain you of course you can keep flying back several times a year or move out here <clears throat> but it looks like uh, we're gonna be having some other clinics opening in California as well probably this year so I don't know about other states for now <laughs> but we are looking into Arizona and uh, beyond. So <coughs> the hope future is glorious for you. Make it glorious. Remember to manifest, okay? Remember you are manifesting. So choose your manifestations wisely. Don't let others shoot for you. And that's it, people. Peace out.